Hey everyone, it's Adam on Tega Eyes, yeah! <clears throat> My throat's a bit croaky, that's why I have... Please don't spit on me... Tea! That's why I have tea. So, today, I was uh, just walking between lessons, and an old friend called Andy, who um, went to my scouts. Well, I say went to my scouts, he was uh, like a helper, there, a young leader, because his dad worked there, w w um, did the scouts and his mum. So, um, so I, I bumped into him, and I knew that he wanted to uh, do, do something into teaching, and um, obviously he's now working at I just said my school. I'm going to bleep that out. I just said my school. So uh, as he was walking along, I banged into him and went, Hey Andy, how's it going? And he looked at me and went, Blimey, you've changed. And then walked off. Right? So I, I was asking some friends, I went, Have I changed a lot since around like year six, year seven? And uh, and thinking about it, I really have. Mainly in the way I look, I uh, used to have really mop hair like, like this. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't have glasses. I was one of the shortest people in my group of friends. My voice was a lot higher. So hello, YouTube. It's Adam. And I just wasn't as confident as I am now. So that led me to thinking of different things were and just, just remembering stuff from when I was younger. I remember this one time when I went to uh, the chip shop down the road with uh, a few friends we were I think they were staying at my house we went to the chippy and uh, we went there and we, we ordered and there was a man stood next to us and uh, and he when, after we ordered he said something under his breath and I just said excuse me and he said you're all going to get fat what which leads to this video being about rudeness now obviously I'm not the slimmest person in the world, I acknowledge that, you know, more of me to love, etc. But saying something like that to a bunch of 11 year olds is... is... What? And at the time I just kind of like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But thinking about that now, you just, you realise how rude that was. And then you know after something's happened and you think, well, I could have said that back to him, that would have been a great comeback. But by then it's already happened. Yeah, that, that happened. But surely if he was in the chip shop as well, he's more likely to get as fat as we are. Who is he to presume that we have chips every day? Every day. Calm down, Adam. Calm down. Maybe to him this didn't seem too rude. Maybe it was just this, you know, maybe it was just normal to him. Maybe he's just genuinely an arrogant old twat. But to me, this seemed very rude. And this made me think about different people's perspective of what is rude. My friends at the time didn't seem to be as bothered about it as I was. Like I said, maybe this old man thought, this isn't so rude, maybe I'm giving out some friendly advice. On the other hand, he could have been a total dick and just thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to make myself feel better about myself. I'm going to pick on some 11 year olds. So that was my little rant on rudeness and people's different perspective of rudeness. So, um... It didn't really make much sense. It didn't really make any sense, actually. Well, this is rock bottom.